I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I think I've probably seen it all this past season of Demon Slayer, bruh. I've seen foreheads the size of basketballs. I've seen mansions that move around like Rubik's Cubes. I've seen a chick fighting with a sword that's actually a whip, that's actually a sword, that's actually a whip, that's actually... Like, I've seen it all. But out of all the crazy shit I've seen during this season of Demon Slayer, nothing could have prepared me for what I was about to see in last week's episode, y'all. Because no way I just watched a Hashira and a whole upper moon demon stop the sword play for half an episode just to engage in a roast battle. And like, I don't mean your typical anime, oh, I'm so much stronger than you type roast battle. Nah, bro, I'm talking a full-on school cafeteria-style jamboree of these niggas cooking each other for their immutable characteristics. Like, there wasn't no breathing styles going on. There wasn't no blood demon art. It was just straight packs and disrespect, bro. And the crazy part is, I won't even lie to y'all, like 90% of these roasts were coming from Uichido's mouth, bro. Like, the boy Gyoko simply could not hang. Low-key, bro, now that I think about it, looking back, I feel like that's the real reason why Muichido was sitting up in that water pot for so long bro like he must have been in like he must have been in that bitch pre-planning all the roast he was about to drop on Gyoko because when the time came bro he really started slinging the most intricate well thought out insults without a single hesitation or a single stutter like I'm not gonna lie bro as far as I'm concerned the boy Muichiro ain't even the Mist Hashira anymore bro bro's Mist has officially evolved into smoke just based solely off of how hard he smoked this bitch, Gyoko with that said moving forward we will henceforth refer to this man Muichiro as the smoke Hashira. So the scene picks up where we left off in the last episode. <laughs> Damn. So the scene picks up where we left off in the last episode. The boy Gyoko had somehow lucked out again and managed to weave Muichido's attack. And so now he's like sitting on top of this little tree looking down on Muichido. Now while Gyoko's up on this tree, he starts spitting the sort of typical anime villain speech that they give when their back's against the wall. You know, the whole don't underestimate me type speech. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this, I expected Muichido to come back at him with like a... Honestly, I don't know what type of energy I expected him to be on. Like, I don't think I really expected Muichido to say much of anything since he normally seems like the stoic, quiet type. But I'll tell you this, I definitely didn't expect him to pop out with the level of smoke that he did. Like, he basically looked this man Gyoko dead in the eyes or <coughs> dead in the <coughs> mouths, maybe. Yeah, I don't really know which part of Gyoko you'd make eye contact with. But anyway, he looks this fish man dead in his sh and just tells him straight up, Hey, bro, I'm not even underestimating you or anything. I'm just spitting facts, bro. Like, it's really up for you. Now, obviously, Gyoko doesn't take too kindly to this disrespect. And so he starts trying to roost Muichido back. And I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Gyoko was actually tight funny with this shit, bro. He said Muichido's arms were too short to scrap. And that he probably couldn't even reach his neck because he had a baby sword. But you already know the smoke Hashira couldn't stand for that disrespect, bro. And so he had to press down on Gyoko. Like, hey, bro, that's real crazy that you say that. Because didn't I put you in an AMV last episode? Oh, all right, then. Shut your bitch ass up. And your pot's ugly as hell, by the way. Now, you know how everyone has that, like... <laughs> Look, y'all, I had to pop out with the young inhaler because this shit was getting out of hand, bro. <laughs> Now, you know how everyone has that, like, one forbidden topic that you can't roast them on or else shit will start to get real serious? Yeah, well, I guess for Gyoko, that topic is his pots. Because the moment Muichido starts talking down on his pottery skills, that boy Gyoko basically says, fuck a pack session, bruh, catch these hands, and starts to scrap right back up again. So Gyoko pulls out another set of magical pots and tries to hit Muichido with, like, the anchovies from Spongebob, but Muichido gives them little guppies to work and destroys, like, all 10,000 of them hoes in a single blow. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Them plot on remarks on his face got my boy Muichiro moving different, bruh. The smoke Hashira then proceeds to try to speed blitz Gyoko and take off his dome, but Gyoko literally sheds his skin and leaves his pot to avoid the attack, which... I just think it's kind of funny. Like, I have this headcanon that Gyoko secretly left the pot because he got self-conscious after Moichido flamed this sh And, like, when you think about it from that perspective, bruh, it's low-key hilarious because that would be like if a nigga roasted your kick to school and then you came back to school the next day entirely barefoot. Like, this man Gyoko got roasted so hard that he basically said, bruh, f*** the pot, bro. I'ma just start slithering and sh Anyway, in the process of leaving his pot, Gyoko actually reveals his final form, which is like this giant snake mermaid sort of thing, and I'm not even gonna lie, what the f*** was bro cooking with this final form? Like, I don't have that much of a problem with the form itself. I'm more so curious about who the f*** thought this blood demon art was a good idea, bro. Essentially, this man's blood demon art is the power to turn anything he punches into quote-unquote fresh fish. Like, there's a point where his knuckles graze Moichido, and like, the part of his shirt that got hit turned into like, sardines or some sh**. 
Like, bro, I'm sorry, but you can't tell me that shit isn't about nasty as hell, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie. If I'm Muzan, I'm making Gyoko go back to the lab and come up with some new shit, bro. Because I feel like this whole fish theme he got going on, like, it's real sloppy, real slimy, and it's kind of getting out of hand. So, like, yeah, let's fix that up, bro. Anyway, the smoke Asuri goes back to running the ones with Gyoko and... I'm not gonna lie, he's basically just trolling Gyoko at this point. Like, he's out there playing Made You Look with this nigga. He's out there dropping literal troll faces on, bro. Like, this trolling is getting flagrant at this point, bro. Just please hurry up and end this sh Hmm, you said end it? Oh, alright. Best. Now, it's not until after Gyoko gets his head chopped off that we see what just might be peak disrespect in Demon Slayer. Like, I don't know if I'm just used to Tanjiro coddling demons after he slaughters them, but the way Moichido chops this nigga Gyoko into a 20-piece McNugget, I don't know, something felt extra vile about that right there, bruh. Like, seeing this low-key got me wondering, do y'all think, like, we got the right Tokido sibling, bruh? Because Moichido seemed nice as shit as a kid, and like, I don't know, this seemed like some hater ass sh the older brother would do. Like, bro was roasting so hard, Rengoku had to pop out in his dreams and congratulate him on the flames. Like, that's crazy. The, the, the flame Hashira congratulating you on your flames? That's not crazy to y'all? It's gotta be the older brother, bruh. 